Okay guys, what do you see here is a do-it-yourself uh, solar phone, mobile phone, or whatever, tablet, charger, um, whatever you may want to use it for. Um, I will show you how you can make this yourself. <coughs> the very simple basics of it. So basically you learned here we have a, uh, we have a, a solar cell um, which is soldered together. This, this is the same as here. Like, like a solar cell structure and uh, <coughs> what we have here is a, a breadboard with two lithium you can buy these at store uh, uh, 1.2 volt uh, batteries rechargeable batteries basically uh, right here we have uh, dozens of um, capacitors which what is a capacitor a capacitor is basically where you can store tiny amounts of energy but for example if like there's a quick sun or a quick uh, power loss from the solar panel, what it does it it uh, it levels out the balances. What it means is, for example, for a, a one second there is a power loss from the solar panel, and there is a tiny energy stored back in the ca capacitor, and so the so it uh, for maybe one second or maybe less uh, time, depending on the size of the capacitor, the the power loss will not be affected. And um, let me show the wiring. One is the plus, one is minus. Uh, the plus and minus goes to the breadboard from the one top side and one down side here. The lower line is like uh, plus, the top side is minus. And uh, then it's connected to the lower volt uh, changer to higher volt. So basically, if volts are below five, it it uh, uplifts them to five volts. Do you, I, I thought I think I buy it from like one euro on eBay. I don't know where, uh, but if it will reach like six, seven, seven, eight volts, it will put out seven, six, eight volts. I think I have burned two of these by putting accidentally twelve volts in it. So basically, <coughs> if it gets over voltage, this this thing dies. Uh, these two batteries together are like twenty two point two point eight volts, and the solar panel I believe in sun would be five to six volts so basically what I should need is two more of these uh, two more of these in parallel so I would get like six volts so the solar panel does not burn the the batteries so battery here is like a storage the solar panels fill up these batteries and then when I decide okay now it's time to charge my mobile phone then I plug it in and be at the beginning while while I was shooting this it was like uh, I believe it was like 24 or 25 uh, percent of the uh, of the uh, on the mobile phone. So basically, what I want to show is also that the phone does not charge up that quickly as <coughs> you would you would you would want to get from a local on-grid charger. Uh, it's because I think uh, it's because of this small thing right here. It doesn't send through that many volts. So basically, what I want to do is make uh, higher power uh, this baby so that I can uh, <coughs> charge up the mobile phone a little bit quicker. So what what it would would do is take more power from the batteries quicker, and right there inside also quicker. But uh, to check the uh, so if I would want to check the uh, power, uh, I can do another thing. I can take uh, and plug. I have another one of this. I can plug it right here and maybe charge another mobile phone. Uh, so maybe uh, that would be much, much uh, to charge two mobile phones. It will still use the power from the batteries even more. But uh, what I want to say is that uh, slowly maybe I can charge two mobile phones. Or if I have one bigger this baby here uh, then maybe i could uh, charge much quick quicker one phone i think i think this uh, thing reduces the power but as as you would guess is it possible to charge directly from the solar panels uh no because the solar panels are unstable the you know sun clouds and everything and also the voltage changes dramatically and also uh it's not stable the mobile phone if the mobile phone would take more the power from the cells uh, the the charging itself will just turn on off and on on off and on off and on and I believe this is many cases from many YouTube people that uh, sell or uh, show the 
<coughs> mobile phone chargers that can uh, charge directly from the solar panel i think that's not possible all or you have a huge solar panel really huge like this is like eight cells right here and this is huge although there is no sun out uh, but <coughs> from a cell like this which is one cell it's impossible to directly charge mobile phone i have seen those on ebay like for 20 pounds or something but uh, considering my experience with this i believe it's uh, it it would not be that easy so uh thank you for watching if you have any questions you can please write and i think i will do a little bit of an, of an upgrade on this thing right here make it a little bit better and this is for the next video and i will share it and i'll show you and have a good day oh hi right, guys again i forgot to show you that uh, it's charging so while we were talking it's like 20 seconds ago it was 26 now it's 27 and <coughs> I'll keep my hand right here, but the GoPro is charging out. And let's see, will it get to 28 and, and how fast it will get? Like, it's like 30 seconds right now. Fast. Well, it's still showing 27. Okay, 40 seconds. Fifty seconds. Ah, uh, but the mobile phone is turned off. So basically, if it if it would be turned on, so maybe it will be even more slower. Okay, one minute right now. One minute and twenty seconds. And you can also consider that if there would be more sun, uh, th there would be more power, but still, I believe it's because of this small thing right here. It doesn't send more power through it, so it's like a limited or just like a... I will have to check online where I bought this. Uh, does it actually show how much amps or milliamps it sends through? Okay, so we're getting closer to two minutes right now and it's still showing 27%. So if you want to get 100% from a 0%, uh, oh, this camera. If you want to get from 100% from 0%, now it should take you like 200 minutes. <coughs> it's like... Uh, three hours or so. Yeah, but if you leave it overnight, I think it's no problem. And I, I will do that tonight. <coughs> okay, two and a half minutes. I think I can solder this in parallel to get more power out of it, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Okay, three minutes, still 27%. <coughs> so you have to get 300 minutes to charge fully, that's like five hours. And this actually is a little bit warm here. All right, this small thing right here is getting warmer and warmer. So I believe this is a limited power because it's warm. Normally mobile phones tend to get hot the chargers, I mean, and the phone itself also. So, 4 minutes, 27... 27%. <laughs> so, that thing is actually charging, but while we were speaking with the shutdown screen, it it got to... 20, from 24 to 27, while I was shooting here another video in a different language.
so I will consider that with a turned on screen it's not actually charging at all All right, 28, 28 percent in a in less, a little bit less than five minutes. So, <laughs> do you, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Is that you can charge up your mobile phone in 500 minutes? It's uh, nearly nine hours. So overnight with this setup, you can charge your mobile phone from zero to 100 percent while it's turned off. So. If it's turned on, I believe it would be much, much less. Let's see what happens while we turn this thing on. <clears throat> How many percents it will be showing then? It's showing... Uh, it's showing that it's charging and it's showing I think 27% so not sure if the numbers here would be accurate let's leave it for a couple of seconds and then it won't be back on okay it's showing 27% so basically what I believe is because of this small thing right here it's not charging it's not getting the enough power from here so that's why it's uh, <coughs> The mobile phone needs a little bit more than this uh, to actually power on, uh, to actually be powered on and keep on charging, or even if you're playing games, it will be keep on charging. So, uh, on the next experiment, I will try to make a more or much powerful that um, the charger. Uh, I will be thinking about this part right here to make it more powerful, and then let's see what happens in future episodes. See you, bye. I decided to do a better experiment. I calculated, I did a test. This is a one amp, uh, uh, this uh, five volt exchanger. So uh, basically what it means is that <coughs> normally mobile phone to charge only 1.2 amps. And this I believe was 0 0.7 or, or one amps, uh, depending on how you measure it. So basically you need a 30% power for this. So basically you, you should be looking for a two amp uh, from two exchanger. But what it does it, you can easily spin whatever this is. This is a tablet cooler. Uh, some wind is blowing, uh, but it's spinning nonstop for like 30 minutes or now. And I'll just put it, keep on spinning and uh, let's see how, how long it will be spinning. So, okay, thank you for watching and enjoy. If any questions, you can please ask.